Hey, all right, you know what that music means. We're kicking off the weekend with our Pauhana with Kohana. We want to remind everybody out there, though, if you're enjoying this weekend, please do so responsibly. We're back up here in the High Now Kitchen. We are hanging out with the executive Barzar. The Barzar, uh, his name is Chris Taibi. Welcome to the show, my friend. How's it going, man? Uh, yeah. Great to be here. It's good energy, man. We've had a great show, and we're so happy to have you here. Uh, we're going to be cooking up some cocktails here in a little bit, but a lot of our friends and family to kick off 2024, maybe they're doing dry January. we got a mocktail for them, right? We do. We actually have the ultimate one, one that goes really well with winter as well. We really wanted to do something fun this Christmas and carry it into the wintertime, so we figured let's make the best hot chocolate we could possibly come up with, and I think we've kind of mastered it. We have... Uh, the beautiful Manoa chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, we use that in the cocoa as well as we have this this uh, peppermint bark that we use as an as an accompaniment with it. Uh, so basically, what we do is we make our hot chocolate. We have that beautiful, rich Manoa chocolate. Look at that! Oh man, lovely, nice and smoky. Of course, we're gonna top that off with some really nice. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Really nice whipped cream. I'm, oh, I can hear my phone buzzing right now. Rachel from Carlos <laughs> right. saying the whip, yes. Let's it's all about the whip. Oh, on beautiful. There. Let's throw some marshmallows, marshmallows. on there, roasted. Oh my Let's gosh. throw them all over. They might want some more. Beautiful. Some peppermint bark on there. But there you have, you have some nice homemade biscotti. You got the nice uh, peppermint bark. You got some Manoa chocolate. Just all these nice accompaniments that can go along with the hot chocolate. All right, so now this is the mocktail. And if we did want to make it a, a little boozy, something to enjoy for our friends who aren't doing dry January. Maybe a beautiful, some, yeah. a beautiful, beautiful product is uh, Manoa, the Coco Lega, the chocolate from Manoa. It is so rich and beautiful and decadent. You just can't go wrong. Mm. And that's exactly the face we want. That's good stuff. And then we take a sip. Yeah. Oh, man, that is delicious. <laughs> oh, thank you, my friend. This is really good hot chocolate, though. I mean, that would just take it to the next level. Fantastic, right? All right, so we got time for one more drink, and we're going to do a Mai Tai the Barzars way, right? I'll tell you what. Let's go with a Mai Tai. You know, a lot of people overthink a Mai Tai. I really feel like it's a simple enough oh, cocktail. Man. You just want simple ingredients. There's no better ingredient than Kohana rum. Mm -hmm. It's a Hawaiian cocktail. It should be a Hawaiian rum going in there. We have, yeah, it's just, it's really versatile. We see it in a lot, uh, utilized a lot of different ways. The beauty of the sugar cane that they get out of this stuff is just phenomenal. You just don't get it in any other rum that I've tried. Now, the other beautiful thing about them is they're so good, they get to work with other rums really, really well which means they're just that fun family member that you always want to hang out yes, with. Yes, it, can play, it plays nicely with everyone in the sandbox. So we're, in this case, we have something from Guyana, Demerara rum, that gives some, some richness to it. Okay. Now we're using something from France, Pierre Ferrand. We're using a little bit of dry Curaco. That gives a little bit of orange, a little bit of sweetness. Other than that, we have a homemade orgeat, basically an almond syrup that we make. It's got notes of rose water. It's got some uh, orange blossom, like a whole bunch of cool stuff that really makes it interesting. And then, of course, just as simple, Some just lime a juice. little bit of fresh lime juice. Just pour that right in there. Gives it that nice, nice brightness. Once we do that, we'll add some We're gonna ice. We're going to ice it up. The Barzar is making it happen. If everyone, uh, if anybody at home wants to go ahead and check him out, he's located over there at Mahina Sons, 412 Lure Street, okay? <laughs> Make sure you guys check him out. There's some validated parking over there by the Hyatt area. Go ahead and check out the Barzar, man. He's making it happen. Oh, look at that. A nice little whip shake. Oh, you're right on time. we got about 30 seconds left in show. And then we're going to top that with some more ice. And bada big. This is a Mai Tai, the Barzar's way. Right. You need some nice mint. Just slap the tush. Just throw it right in there. Oh, man. A little, you got to drink it, right? Like a little straw, and then we'll put a little maraschino cherry on there. Boom, there you have it. I, Very couldn't think, I couldn't think of a better way to end the show. Barzar, thank you so much. What a pleasure having you. My man. This is our Paul Hanna with Kohana. Have a great weekend. We will see you guys next week. Cheers. Cheers.